So parents, tonight we're going to be looking at the second method to um, multiply. It's called expanded algorithm. Uh, I didn't get any angry phone calls last night over area models, so maybe we all survived together. Um, tonight I am trying to be the instructor and videographer in one, so I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit bumpy, but we're going to do our best. So today in class we talked about expanded algorithm, and that algorithm is a fancy schmancy word that just means the steps to solve a math problem. And so uh, we're going to be looking at that as a vocabulary word in math on the next test. And I told the students that today. So we're looking at these expanded algorithms. Now, in fourth grade, when you and I were in fourth grade, we would know immediately how to start these. But you're not going to be able to help your student in that way because we're doing expanded algorithm. What you and I learned is called standard algorithm. And I promise, I promise, I promise we will get there. But an expanded algorithm continues like area model to show them every step so that when we do standard algorithm and we do the shortcut, they know exactly why they're doing what they're doing. So the first thing I tell them, again, based on place value, 13 times 4, we talk about the value of each digit. This 4 is just a 4. It's in the 1's place. This 13, the 3 is in the 1's place, so it's just a 3. But this, ten, this 1 is actually in the 10's place. And so just until they really get the hang of it, we have been putting a little tiny baby 0 right there, and we've made... Um, baby noises, itty bitty baby zero. You might hear them say that to you. Just to remind them that that's a 10. Now eventually they won't have to do that, but I'll show you why remembering that that's a 10 is an important step of expanded algorithm in just a minute. So we start, and the algorithm says you always start in the ones place on your bottom digit, which in this case is the four. And we've talked about today that the algorithm says you go, and I can't draw and look at my font sign, up and then over up and then over to each place value. So we're going to start with 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So we're going to write that down. Now parents, you know with standard algorithm we would have regrouped that one or carried that one, but you don't do that with expanded algorithm. You write the whole thing there. That is our first partial product. Now we're ready to go to 4 times here, this 1. But remember, this 1 is not a 1. Its value is a 10. So when we go here, we're going to go 4 times 10. So that's why that little 0 helps me remember to multiply times 10 and not times 1. 4 times 10 is 40. And we put it there. I know that seems strange. And then we add the two partial products together. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. The answer is 52. Now, parents, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because if you remember last night, the area model, when we did the boxes, then the first partial product was a 12, and the second partial product was a 40. Those would have been the two boxes made by 13 times 4. And so now they're seeing it in algorithm form, where last night they saw it in an area model form. So let's try another one. 29 times 7. Well, let's look at the value of each digit. This 2 is not really a 2. Because it's in the tens place, it's really a 20. So I'm going to put a little 0 there just to remind me. And eventually students won't have to do that at all. But for now, we're all doing it. This 9 is a 9, and this 7 is a 7. And so now I'm ready to do my multiplication. The algorithm says I start in the ones place on the bottom. And so I'm going to move up. Remember my arrows over here, you're going to go up first and then over. So 7 times 9 is 63. We're going to put the whole thing right there. And that's our first partial product. My second partial product is going to be 7 times, not 2, but 20. 7 times 20. Now students will remember, hopefully, that 20 times 7 is a multiples of 10 problem, where we can cover up that 0 and just think 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. And then we can add a 0 to the end, a multiples of 10 problem. So 7 times 20 is 140. And now we have our two parts to our product. To get our total product, all we have to do is add those together. 3 plus 0 is 3. 6 plus 4 is 10. I'm going to regroup here. And 1 plus 1 is 2. 203. Now, the common mistake that fourth graders make when I am asking for expanded algorithm, they will usually get this, 5 times 3 is 15, but then when they go here, they usually go 8 times 5 is 40, and then they add that together. Parents, do you know their mistake? 
That's right. They should have thought that this as, of this as an 80 because it's an 8 in the tens place. So instead of 8 times 5, they should have had 80 times 5, which would be not 40, but 400. Another mistake fourth graders make is when they get ready to add, they don't have their numbers lined up. And so they might get that this answer was 550. But in truth, this is in the ones place. It should be over the one. So I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to rewrite that right here. 15 and 400. See how now I have the ones lined up, the tens lined up, the hundreds lined up? That's going to make a difference in how you solve. So now we add our ones. It's a five. One plus zero is one. Four plus nothing is four. So our answer is 415. So make sure that they are remembering that this is an 80, not an eight. Make sure that they are lining up their digits with the ones together, the tens together when they add. And um, that is how you do expanded algorithm. All right, I hope that answers some questions uh, and can kind of help the parents understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. And tomorrow we're going to do something called box methods, so be watching for that video. Thanks, y'all. Have a great night.